So you have an irresistible lead magnet and now what? Yeah, you gotta set up some tech, but trust me, it's simple. And in this video, I'm gonna walk you step by step through setting up your lead magnet within my favorite email service provider platform, which is Flowdesk. So first let's just talk about why I love Flowdesk. So I originally started building my email list in MailChimp, which was fine for a while, but what happened is as my list started growing larger, it got so expensive every month. So flat platforms like MailChimp, ConvertKit, ActiveCampaign, all of those, they charge you by subscriber number. So once you get, you know, a couple thousand to multiple thousand subscribers, you're going to be paying several hundred dollars a month. And although my email list does bring in a lot of revenue, I just didn't feel like giving it away to these tech platforms. Then I found Flowdesk and Flowdesk charges a one really low rate, no matter how many subscribers you have. So I actually have an affiliate link that I actually have an affiliate link below that you can get $19 a month. It's crazy insane and they still have really great automations as well as beautiful templates that you can use for your emails. So the first thing you'll need to do is set up your Flowdesk account, which is super easy. And next I'm going to walk you through step-by-step -step in setting up a automated um, opt-in page so that people can opt into your irresistible freebie and then they get placed on your email list in a special little segment based on what opt-in they've opted in for. If you don't already have an irresistible lead magnet, be sure to check out my video here where I walk through 11 different ideas that you can create um, to help attract people into your email list. Hey everyone. Okay. In this video, we are going to walk through setting up your lead gen funnel in Flowdesk. So essentially we're going to be creating a opt-in page, just like the one you see here. And this opt-in page is going to live on its own URL. So, um, you can add this, this to any links, um, in order for people to come to this page and enter their name and email address to get your free thing. And then they're on your email list. Um, we're also going to work on setting up the automated email that will fire off once someone enters their name and email address on this page so that they'll get, um, you won't have to do a thing. The email will automatically be sent to them with, um, with your free thing on it um, after someone enters their email here. So let's get started. We're going to go to our main page here in Flowdesk. Um, so this is where your once you enter into Flowdesk, this is where you'll come. We're going to create our segment within our audience tab. So you just come right up here to audience and then segments. And here you'll see all of my segments. And I use a pretty simple naming convention to kind of keep things organized. I use opt-in and then the name of the product for any free things that I have and then purchased and then the name of the product for any of my paid um, paid products, my patterns, my digital downloads. So we're going to go here to create new segment, and then we're going to name our segment. So this is where I use my naming convention, opt-in, and then the name, um, Valerina Slipper um, example. And then you can um, select a color for your segment, and you just hit save. Okay, so then you see the new segment here is created. So now we're going to go over to forms and we're going to create a new form. And here we have three different options. So you can do a pop-up and this is, um, you probably have seen these on certain websites when you go and after 10 seconds scrolling the site, the pop-up pops up that um, you can create in Flowdesk. We're not going to use that today. Um, but it's just as simple to create. You can also do inline, and inline is basically just something you embed into your website. So maybe you want to have this, um, this is called a ribbon banner. Um, this can be sort of midway within a blog post. Um, there's all kinds. This one you can embed, you know, in, a, in your website at the bottom of a blog or really anywhere. There's a couple different templates that they have. But for this example, we want to we want to be, be 
we want to have it's a, an opt-in on its very own URL. So that way you can link to it in your Instagram bio. Um, you can link to it in your Facebook page, Facebook group. Um, basically, anywhere possible, you want to have um, this form uh, to share. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to do a full page form. So we can just click to customize. And this is where we, um, we're we going to select a segment. And basically, this segment is where anyone who opts in to this form is going to be added to the segment. So we're going to um, drop anyone from this um, form into our ballerina slipper example segment. Okay, and so now it's really simply, just as simple as customizing this form. So I'm gonna click on the photo and I'm going to add a photo here of the ballerina slippers. Um, and that will load, perfect. Um, and then I'm gonna change my headline. So you can use the headline um, from the template uh, this one, I'm just going to say um, a free ballerina silver pattern. Um, and then on this, the little mini text, I'm going to use the template example, which was um, grab my free ballerina silver pattern um, and make these adorable and giftable slippers, something like that. So I'm just kind of further selling the value, like just kind of putting in that reminder that they are a giftable thing. And that is pretty much it. Their first name, their email address. I can change colors. I can change the style of this button if I wanted it to be like a round one um, or yeah, a little softer corner. I can change the color of the button. Um, I can change the, the font. Basically, everything on here is customizable, even this little message in here. Um, you can change all the, the colors and stuff of that. So that's basically all we need to do to create the form. It's that easy. Um, you might just want to double check your mobile. Looks good. It just pulls out the photo on mobile, which is fine. Um, so we can go now. Oops, we just will go out of the preview. So this form is ready to go. We don't have to worry about linking this button because by choosing the segment, this button is already activated. So even um, you'll see there's no, there's no link to put in the button. Um, so just to mention that. So now we just go to next. Okay, from here, if you remember, we um, spoke briefly about the double opt-in. And so in this case, I'm just going to select no for the double opt-in so that people, all they have to do is enter their name and email and they'll just automatically get the free thing. They don't have to, um, they don't have to confirm their email before they get the free thing. So I just select no and hit continue. Now this, um, when subscribers opt in to this form, you can actually have an email sent to you. Um, I recommend not doing that because you will get, um, uh, hopefully, you'll get many, many emails. Every time someone opts in, you'll be getting an email, and it's a really easy way to clog up your email box. So you can just select Don't Notify Me. And after this form is submitted, you can choose to redirect them to a URL, um, or you can display the success message. So um, I am going to display the success message. If you wanted to maybe redirect them back to your the homepage of your website or um, if you wanted to even get fancy and do um, a custom thank you page or something um, with maybe your top three blog posts or something like that, you can definitely do that. But minimum viable, we're just going to say your form has been successfully submitted like, um, and select that. Then I hit continue and our form is literally done. So this is the link. So you can just copy this link. Um, and also, actually, we can go into edit link preview because this is going to allow us to change the um, all of this. So this will show up, for example, if you shared this in a Facebook group, um, you know how it'll show just like a little preview. Well, this is the 
the info that will show on that preview. So we definitely need to change this. So I would just be like, grab my free gallery knit slipper pattern. Um, and I would work on spelling. And then I would just add either maybe the ballerina photo there or um, the logo for my, uh, my website or something there for the photo. So we can hit save. And now our form is ready. So this this link is going to be um, give you this um, this uh, form. So last thing we need to do is get our um, get the email automation going. So to do that, we are going to go to workflows, and we're going to set up a new workflow. So first, since this is going to be an email that fires out with our freebie, we can choose, they have some templates. Um, we're just going to choose this one. You can also make one from scratch. So, um, but this one looks pretty good, actually. So we'll customize that. Okay, so this is where we get into setting up the automation. So we're gonna add a trigger, it's called a trigger. So once someone enters their email into our form, we want to trigger this email. So begin this workflow when a subscriber is added to the segment. And remember we created the segment that was opt-in ballerina slipper example. So this is basically saying anytime a subscriber is added to the opt-in ballerina slipper example, send this email. Um, and it's pretty much as simple as that. You would customize this email um, just like we did with our regular, um, our regular email. You can use their new layouts. You can use legacy layouts. Um, and you would just change all this info to be... Um, you know, relevant to your freebie. And then here, click to download. This is where you're going to um, attach the file. So right here, you would upload, um, in this example, I would upload the ballerina slipper pattern. Um, I would probably actually combine the pattern with the instructions together into one file, or you can attach a zip file here. Um, so this is going to be everything that you want them to download. Um, and then anytime someone clicks this link right here, they're going to be able to download the file. So it's that simple. You can make sure to double check the mobile preview as well. Um, you can add your Instagram, keep all of your social links, um, and that would be your delivery email. So when we go to finish, then it will we'll have a spot to enter our subject line and our preview text. Um, so I usually just say like your slipper pattern is here. Um, and then I'll do like, um, like open, um, open for your, your, your pattern, something like that. Um, you can definitely add the emojis if you wanted, maybe like a celebration emoji or something could be really fun. Okay, so then we can publish this workflow. And we can publish now. Okay, so now you can see this workflow, we can rename this now. We're going to call it, we're going to use the same naming convention, opt-in um, ballerina for example. And that way, if you need to go back and edit it at a later date, maybe you update the pattern and you need to add a new file, um, or you just uh, want to update the email, all you have to do is click edit and you'll, you can edit. So that's where using these naming conventions kind of helps you um, keep everything sorted. Okay, the last thing we're gonna do is we want to test this. Before we go live with it, we wanna test it and make sure um, that everything is going as planned, that the email fires off. Um, so what we're gonna do, I've gone to forms and I'm hovering over my form. I would actually rename this. Um, so this would be my 
um, opt-in arena. So you can name it just to keep everything clear. And then if you go here to the three dots, you can, um, you can share the page link. So if you, um, you know, if any time that you need to grab the link to this form, you can just come right here, share the page link, and that will give you the link. So I've just already opened it up in this tab. So we're gonna go ahead and test this. I'm gonna enter my name and my email. And get the guide. Okay. Um, so now we're gonna pop back over to this. I'm gonna just refresh Flowdesk. Okay, so when I go into my audience and then into segments, I can see that one subscriber has joined um, and then I can see that it's me. Um, and then also I can show you in the workflows as well, you're able to see that you click on the three bars here, you're able to see the number of people that are going, um, that have subscribed to this, uh, the workflow that are in the workflow. And this is really handy if you have multiple steps in a workflow. So let's say we send the delivery email and then you can add additional emails into the workflow. So this will show you how many people are actually working through the flow and then one is completed. So, um, so that is working. And then I would just check my email to make sure that the, um, that the email did fire off um, some of the things to make sure that you check are, for example, that the form you can click here is going to the right segment. That's something I would troubleshoot, just making sure the segment is correct and that that segment is the same segment you used in the workflow, um, and that will connect everything. So a couple little trouble troubleshooting tips there. Okay, so that is everything. Once you've tested the form and, and ensure that you do get the email, um, you are ready to go. And anytime you want that, the link to your form, you can just go right here and copy the link and put the link everywhere so everyone can download your free thing. All right, that's it for me. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions about setting this up, just drop me a comment. I'm happy to um, troubleshoot with you and I'll see you in the next video. All right, bye.